It is a super cold November day, but hey, on, it's loud in here. I've been warming up the car. Super cold November day, but it is Saturday. And what I love about Saturdays with home football games is instead of flyover with the Jets, which means that was the national anthem and they're going to be starting the game soon. So for me, what that means is I can go around town and not hit any traffic. Every store I need to go to, I have to go to the storage unit and do a bunch of stuff. Like everything I do, all the errands I run, I'm not gonna run into anybody because it's just dead when the game's going on. I'm gonna really push hard on my No Small November project today. I'm very pumped about all the stuff I can get done this afternoon. Let's get to it. Holy cow, is it cold out here? I need some gloves. <sighs> Holy cow. So I always keep a case of water in my car. It's pretty much all ice now. It's cold, winter is here. Whew. What am I doing at a storage unit? Well, in order to make more room for my office space, I gotta rearrange the storage unit so I can fit those shelves and all my work stuff in here. And that way I can bring all that here. And before I go on the road, I can come here, load up my car and head out versus storing all that stuff in our house. It's just gonna save a ton of space and it's gonna allow me to open that whole area up for the office studio. So <sighs> phase one, here we go. Step one is finally done. Now it's time to go tear down the shelves and start bringing stuff over here. It's a lot of work just to not even be building yet. Just talked to Maureen on my way back and we don't have any dinner for tonight. So coming to Hy-Vee to pick some up. Hy-Vee's the best grocery store ever. Although I like Meyer as well in Michigan, but we don't have Meyer here. So Hy-Vee it is. <laughs> Picked up dinner, got it, I'm heading home. It's super dark already, but it just makes nighttime time lapses that much sweeter. It's, it's not that late. It's only like 5.30, but it looks like it's like 10 o'clock at night. So I'm gonna do a nighttime time lapse on the way home. The area where the office is gonna be is now cleared out. So before I showed you the, uh, the before and then here's kind of the, the after. I'm gonna have a shelf up top there. So it's gonna come out to that eight foot mark there. So I'm gonna have a window in here and then it's gonna to go to that line right there. So about a nice, nice size space. Today's takeaway is make sure your end goal is loud and clear. This, this project is, it's not just a small office. I mean, there's a lot of moving parts. There's storage involved. I have to get this stuff to storage, rearrange storage so that I can access it for work. There are a lot of things that are involved with this. And it's the classic case of it has to look worse before it gets better. Uh, if I didn't have my end goal loud and clear and my wife walked in here right now, I would probably be stuck on the couch for a while. All this is gonna go away, but it's, yeah. That is it for the vlog today. Feel a little bit like Maddie Hapoya right now. It's kind of what my weekend is, is just kind of working on my No Small November project, hanging out with the kids and making bids.
I appreciate everybody watching. Thank you so much for all the kind words and stuff over the last few weeks. You guys have been awesome. Once I have this all completed, it'll be so awesome. My workflow and everything else will be faster, so I'm really looking forward to it. Fun fact, I won these speakers back in college. Um, it was part of a Motley Crue VIP sweepstakes. I won front row tickets. I was in their DVD and they also sent me their whole catalog along with these bad boys. They're kind of ancient now and they're ginormous, so I'm probably finally gonna get rid of them. But they were cool at the time. Take care everyone and I will see you tomorrow. I know this is the end screen, but I have one funny blooper from today. It wasn't funny at the time because I thought I was gonna destroy my GoPro, but it's funny now because the GoPro is safe. The scene earlier where I, I had my car drive up to the storage place, when the gate opened, it kept going. It actually smashed the camera on the way through another bar. So uh, here's, the, uh, here's the blooper from that. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>